Bonjour, as we say in France. So, who, who is France for you so far? Oh, it's, it's hot, it's warm. The crowd look like they're going to be amazing tonight. And I, I got a new guitar today for free. You gave me a guitar. It's like, <laughs> what is it? It's, uh, it's, it's really, it's not really sought after at all. It's, uh, it's a 58 uh, Flying V. Um, and again, people don't really like these anymore, so. It's not very, uh, not very special at all. Yeah. No, no, it's not special at all, and it sounds like, like. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, a beautiful piece. And can we take a look at your guitars, Richie? Yeah, man. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I mean, in the same oh, family. Uh, this was this was the first one. This was the first V that we got from Gibson, uh, and okay. it started. You know, it's the, uh, the 58 uh, shape. Uh, and it originally had the half, you know, the same as the 58 is, half the pick guard. As we toured with it, we put different pickups in it, we changed the shape of the pick guard, got rid of the control and stuff, put one volume. Only one volume and one, one selector? Volume. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Floyd Rose, obviously. EMG pickups? EMG. These started out as 8185, and okay. then they went to 5766. Then it's my own ones that I've kind of customized a little ah, bit. Ah, so your signature model, basically? Yeah, okay. yeah they're, they're, I think they're going to release them at some stage, I'm not sure when. But there's a few modifications, there's less, there's less gain in these ones than the okay. originals, and there's a few EQ tweaks as well. Um, this one's got like the, the wow. buckle rash, is literally... So that's that's from down. the road? Yeah, so be careful with that. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to take my chains off. Okay, so, you know. but, so uh, it's going to, to destroy your 1958 Flying V today. No, I'm, 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 I've got some chains and I'll take them up tonight. But, uh, oh, it's insane. Yeah. So you did that yourself? Yeah. I don't know if we can see it back in the camera, but... It's, it's taken it completely, it's not just the paint that's come off, it's And so it's this reshaped. one has a nickname? Well yeah, that, that was a silly idea really. We, we were playing a song at the time called Balls of Valhalla uh, and I just wrote that on there and I can't take it off, it won't come off without taking the paint off. So <laughs> just, let it, on there. just let it as is. Um, no, that's great. No diamond uh, on the headstock on this one. Jimi okay. Hendrix didn't have a, a diamond at the Isle of Wight so I wanted it to be... Oh yeah, uh, yourself? Yeah. Uh, and it's obviously all the wear from rings, and I'll take this off later on. Wow. But as from that, so that was the original one. Okay. And then we based an Epiphone version on that one. Okay. And then this was the custom shop version. So it's basically the same core, uh, you know, to pick up the pick guard, the tone. Um, it's got my own signature trail. Yeah. It's got the diamond on there for the custom shop. Okay. Um, and that's basically, obviously, from the custom shop, it's, it's a one piece body, one piece neck. It's not two piece. Oh, go, gotcha. It's one solid piece of mahogany. Um, and there's that same same kind of wear and not so much on this at the moment. It's, I think I only got this about two years ago. Okay. So it's still in pretty good condition. But you, we can see the wear from rings already. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't take long. You know. Yeah. Oh, really? Um, this one, I, I picked this up off the shelf. This is from the music zoo. Okay. Um, I think this one's starting to go here. Oh. That's a bit more. So that's, that's the older. spare of the of your signature one. If no, I. This one's a this one's a hardtail. Okay. Uh, we had to modify this one. The wood was actually too soft. Okay. Because on the customs, you've got the maple top. Of course, yeah. It's yeah, a hard yeah. wood. Yeah. And this one, we found that the mahogany, drilling strength of the mahogany, is a bit too soft, so they'd move. Okay. So we had to bolt them down. Uh, we put our own pick guard on it, obviously, and our own pickup configuration switch. We took those out, obviously. Um, that's, that's just straight off the wall. Yeah. Uh, all, these, all these straps are either custom made. Yeah, the straps look great. Oh, red monkey strap. This one is. Okay. This one is. This one uh, is. And this one is. And these, these are all custom made. These were made by Glenn's old tech. Okay. Weasel. So he, he gets a piece of leather and he hammers out the patterns and puts them all together. Wow. Uh, this one's actually supposed to be TIE fighters from Star Wars. It's like, it's supposed to be abstract TIE fighters, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, from you know? Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah, the, the starship, yeah. Wow. This one. And so we have like an explorer in there? Yep, explorer. I'm working on my own explorer at the moment to fit in really? the family of the V, a nice blue one with some custom appointments. But this one is also off the shelf. This is also from the music too. Um, so we can expect a signature, a Richie Faulkner signature maybe, guitar later. Maybe, maybe. You never wow. know. You never know. Um, but this also, again, I'm going to switch down to here. So it's the same configuration as the Vs. Just move to switch down. Finally, you don't need a tone. You just need one volume and that's it. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are speaking that it's pretty much direct. Yeah, it's yeah. It's your yeah. amp. I mean, I can still, I can still use this to, to back it off a little bit. And okay. Get a few different tones out of it, on, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. Without using With a tone. the dynamic of the guitar, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then this one. And of course, you got a Les Paul, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is an 81. I bought this one on, on eBay. Really? Yeah. I, luckily, I'd seen it in the store. 
So I saw it in the store and then, I, you know, we travelled away and uh, I saw it on eBay and I knew it was the same one, so I'd played it, so that was fortunate. It's a big old lump of wood, this one. It's got a maple neck on it, which uh, I don't know why. I've got another Les Paul that we're using, it's got a maple neck too. Yeah, but in the 70s, they, they, you know, they started to change to maples, yeah. so that, that explains pretty much everything. Yeah. Well, sonically, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a calculated decision, but we ended up with two Les Pauls with the maple neck, so there must be so something sonically okay. with this situation that works, you know. Um, free pickup, EMGs, EMGs yeah. of course, yeah. And it, this has got the time, but if you can see on this one, this is a special one. These go up to 11. Oh, that's, that's so that's the spinal tap thing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow, and of course, huge threads. Yes. Every of them. Yeah. 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 So some more than others. Um, some these came like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it felt right, so I kept them. Um, they're not the biggest. They're not the biggest out there, but they're they're bigger than they're medium. Okay. You know, medium to large. That's quite a, a weighty thing as well. Whoa. Which okay. I've, I've always been used to with a Les Paul. You know. Oh yeah, I can but, tell. You can tell it's from the seventies. <laughs> you know, we were talking earlier on. You can connect. It's a physical thing. Yeah, yeah. So when they're heavy like that, you can feel. Yeah. yeah. Stick a picture of those people. Yeah. So I like that. Oh, it brings a lot, huh? Yeah. It's a, and again, this is a eighty-one. Not the most desirable, but. You had some good ones and some not so good ones. Well, if the magic one. happens, you yeah, know, yeah. it's about the wood, huh? Yeah. And, yeah. and the player. Well, I like to think so sometimes. So we'll see it tonight? <laughs> Maybe. It's either this one or I'm going to use the flying V. <laughs> so we'll see the, the flying V. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Pretty well, Richie, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, guys. Thank you. As we say in France, au revoir. Au revoir. And see you soon. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs>